Hello. So I got some books that, uh, it's not too many, um, that I want to just talk about because I want to start one of the math books. Uh, and so I need to get this out of the way. Bit of an OCD. Um, Daniel Goleman, Focus, The Hidden Driver of Excellence. Uh, I've been getting it a lot into this idea of uh, focus and like flow state and stuff like this um, and trying to change my outlook on how I pursue my day-to-day -day, uh, goals or you could say like behaviors. And so I got this. I'm not sure it's going to be like one of these robust uh, books on the nature of focus, but I know Daniel Goleman's a famous self-help writer and I figured I could just, this wouldn't take me that long to read, right? It's probably like 15 hours of reading. And I would just read this and see if I could get any ideas or just put me in the headspace of like being focused, right? The next one is uh, Chinese thought from Confucius to Kuk Ting. So I got this because I'm getting a lot into like Taoism and Buddhism. <clears throat> um, and this book goes beyond just uh, things like Buddhism. Um, I believe, yeah. I think it even talks about like Sun Tzu. I think, I think this is a general Chinese philosophy book. Uh, whereas, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, but what I am looking for primarily, and I'll buy more books, is like books about the idea of enlightenment, like the idea of, I think even said here in one of these chapters, behaving ritually. I have this habit of doing things where I'm pursuing a goal, uh, which makes my Ability to do the things that I enjoy less fun. So if I'm like doing running, well, let's say I'm doing reading and I want to read three books this month. My behavior of reading is always done with the end goal in mind, which kind of ruins and taxes me a little bit. Like it, it ruins the fun and it taxes me a little bit. Whereas I want to just be able to do something almost ritually because I enjoy doing it. Uh, not because I want to achieve some kind of outcome. And I'm trying to get myself into that mindset. And I'm hoping, because I am a bit worried that I'm going to revert back to making goals. So I'm hoping that if I consistently read Eastern philosophy, uh, that I will develop the mental habit of um, staying in that mindset of just doing things because they're fun. I know people say, like, uh, use this expression, the mind takes over. And so you have to get good at checking your mind, so to speak. You have to be aware that you're kind of being meta in your own head as opposed to living in the, the, the experience itself. So that's why I got this book. This next book is an arithmetic book. So the reason why I got this is because I was doing uh, algebra and it occurred to me that I forgot how to do, like I, I, I had developed a bunch of cool methods for solving arithmetic problems because I had spent like hundreds of hours studying arithmetic. And it occurred to me that I forgot some of these cool methods and it kind of annoyed me actually. So I figured what that means in my sense, like for me is I need to practice arithmetic more and you can get like, a, you could just ask an AI to generate arithmetic problems for you. I just did this because I prefer to work out of books. Um, but this has, yeah, this has, uh, it says 7,800 arithmetic problems. Uh, addition, subtraction, uh, division, multiplication, Single digit, multi digit. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I'm just going to do this all in my head without a calculator and try and find a, multiple approaches to solving them again. Nothing fancy there. Uh, this next one, I, I only got it because Steven Pinker's name is on it. Um, I am a Steven Pinker fanboy slightly. Uh, Stephen J. Dunbar, Daniel Gilbert, there we go, Steven Pinker, immensely rewarding, filled with wise advice and insightful reflections. So this book is just a book about willpower. I'm sure it's not going to be that much different from the marshmallow book, the marshmallow test book. I'm sure they're very similar. Um, let's see the TOC. Where does the power and willpower come from? A brief history of the to-do list from God to Drew Carey. Decision fatigue. Where have all the dollars gone? The quantified self knows. Yeah, it's, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun read. Nothing too uh, difficult and too long. This book also, I just happened to be in a bookstore. It was the same bookstore <laughs> as the previous book. And I have How Not to Die. I don't like his other book, um, How to Die or whatever, or How Not to Die, whatever it is. I don't care about that one. I care about How Not to Die and How Not to Age. I figured because I have How Not to Die, I'll read this with it. I'm going to be of the impression that I need to read this very carefully because I think he does this evidence, what Peter Adia calls evidence-based versus evidence-informed. 
I think a lot of this will be evidence-informed, not evidence-based, meaning that it's just maybe there was one study with like a group of 30 people that suggests that this mechanism of action is the explanatory variable. And so you want to base your lifestyle choices off the mechanism of action versus evidence-based would be like randomized control trials, I think. Um, yeah, that's why I got that. The Infinite Machine, this is about Ethereum. I believe this is a popular book as well. Um, I want to read about cryptocurrencies. Not because I'm ever going to invest in them. I really don't believe that I will ever invest in them. Or maybe I'll just gamble and put like 2% of my portfolio in, in to uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin. But I tend to be of the belief that productive assets, like I think gold is just a store of value, basically. Sorry, that cryptocurrencies are a store of value. It's just like gold. Um, but I think I should probably just be a little bit more informed about them in general. Yeah, so this one's about Ethereum. I'll get some about Bitcoin as well. And then I'll probably try and find a book that goes over the technology involved in cryptocurrencies. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's all this book is. And again, I just happened to be in a bookstore and I figured, well, I might as well get this because I, I can get work on crypto. Uh, advanced mathematics from engineers and scientists. So this was purely because I'm doing Shams' uh, entire outline of mathematics. And this is just basically uh, yeah, differential equations. What else is in here? Fundamental concepts. So it's like a review. Maybe like pre-calc review. Uh, what else is in here? Let me go to the TOC. Uh, the flash transforms vector analysis. Yeah, I, I only got this because, uh, by the way, I have textbooks that go over this. I just want to add the problems, to be honest. I am doing Shams outlines, but I wanted mostly for the problems. I just want to practice. There's 950 problems in that book. This one, intermediate algebra. So I, I basically finished the algebra textbook for Shams. And I realized there was, I thought it was a complete course in algebra, but I realized there was other topics in algebra that were missing. Uh, for example, second degree equations uh, was missing. Exponent, I occurred to me that the exponents was not even mentioned in the first algebra textbook after I finished it. Um, sequences weren't mentioned. Uh, also, we didn't go over like arithmetic versus geometric uh, mean. Uh, that wasn't mentioned. So I got this because I believe this goes over, like this was mentioned. This was mentioned. Obviously, these were mentioned. So there's going to be a lot of overlap, but there were just certain parts that weren't mentioned that I feel like kind of I got cheated out of that I wanted to uh, do. So if you get the first one, it, you basically will be fine. You just need to do exponents and roots, but then you can get this one as well if you want extra practice, which is what I wanted it for. Uh, and then this is college mathematics. So this actually does go over a lot of the stuff that is in those two algebra textbooks, uh, intermediate algebra and elementary algebra. But then it goes into like pre, well, that's my hair, hold on. Uh, Pre-calc and discrete mathematics. I have a lot of textbooks in discrete mathematics, but this is just gonna be for exercise and calculus, but basically like just a little bit of an introduction to single variable calculus, basically. Oh, there's multivariate here as well, okay. That's all it is. So it's basically like the first year of, of college that you would have for math. That's all this is. Um, I don't even think it goes over statistics. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't, I don't see it, yeah. That's all this is. And again, I got it for the problems, but also I'm gonna do all of Shams' outlines. So those are all the books I got um, last month, uh, maybe the last three weeks, two weeks. Uh, if you have any recommendations for Eastern philosophy books, um, especially in terms of like them being academic, a lot of Eastern philosophy books are just pop books, I'd be appreciative um, and I will probably buy those. So let me know if you know about any. But until next time, bye-bye.